Hey guys, yes, this is me with my crazy hair and my big eyebrows. <laughs> okay, hallelujah. Um, oh my gosh, guys. So, in such a hard time, hard time, like I know I'm smiling, it's all good, but it's a hard time. Thank you, Jesus, though, because in all things, give thanksgiving unto God through everything, in everything. For him alone. Thanksgiving unto God in everything, through everything, always giving thanksgiving. Because then that will fill us with a more grateful heart, a grateful heart to realize that Jesus loves us more than we can imagine. And um, here's what I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, so basically, I had another hard day. And um, I, I watched Levis Dance. Le I call them Levi stance because they reminds me of like they remind me of like the Levites standing up, you know, charging for the Lord. But it's an Asian worship Christian group called Levi stance, and um, you should go check them out if you have a chance, as the Lord wills, as the Lord wills. And I really like Levi stance because when I was battling with dark thoughts, they were there to help me. And now today I'm battling with dark thoughts and they're there to help me. And there's just a word that like uh, there's a there's some there's like a message, a simple message on my heart today. And it's basically to stay grounded in your faith in Jesus. But then also, well, let's see. You should keep pursuing. <laughs> you should keep pursuing in God's love. Like you should keep pursuing in love. Okay, this sounds kind of like hard to explain. What I mean by pursuing in love is that when you see other Christians struggling with not being able to love, such as other Christians who judge, judge people or Christians, you know, who like criticize people and like maybe they are a debating type of Christian. I feel like there's like levels to like the walk of faith in Jesus, you know? And there's like, there's some, there's some, I feel like there's believers in Jesus who debate and they want to get to the bottom of things and they, they want to, they want to basically express that truth. Um, like I'm one, like we all want to express our truth, but how do I say this? Like, Mm, let me see like you want to make sure that you love those people first of all like those people who you fight with you know um those people that you get into like religious debates with you want to make sure you love them you want to make sure you love them with a whole heart because that is one of the most important commandments romans chapter 13 verse 10 says love does no ill to their neighbor so therefore love fulfills the law. And so like when we're when I'm on Facebook like arguing about the law with unbelievers, when I'm on Facebook, you know, arguing about the law with people, and I actually have argued with people and gotten into a lot of arguments, but the point is the love is what fulfills that law. The love is what completes that law. Okay? So I don't know if like you kind of understand what I'm saying here. I'm not trying to like deceive you or confuse you. I'm just really trying to tell you like be grounded in love and faith in Jesus. Um, totally like love in Jesus. Okay. Because I had, I feel like, okay, I feel like the Holy Spirit, I feel like God told me something about faith and us believers a, a while ago. The Father God told me something. And I feel like he basically was saying, my daughter, Jocelyn. Ah, oh, Jocelyn, what? You know my name, Jesus. Yes, he knows your name. He was basically saying, like, Jocelyn, you can't do this alone. But you're, you need to, I, I forgot how it went, but it's like, your faith. My, my children's faith, your guys' faith, is going to build and restore the kingdom of God. Our faith 
in Christ Jesus together, not just me by myself, um, not, you know, but like our faith in Jesus together, anchored in Christ Jesus in a like mind, like mindedness, our faith together is going to graciously build the kingdom of God with God's amazing divine help. So God's divine help gives us the strength, the faith, the courage, the kindness, the love, the gentleness, the peace. God gives us the fruits of the spirit to have faith to build God's kingdom so that his will is being done on earth as it is in heaven. Because that is really what we all, I think, are seeking. I could be like, I'm not speaking for everybody, but I think a lot of us Christians are seeking for the heavenly kingdom to come down to earth. You know, because God walked among man. Jesus walked among man. <coughs> I, thought, I thought that was like a really nice word. It really encouraged me. Um, whoa. Oh, my cat's got you on the door. So I know I have a little bit of nerves right now as I'm making this video because I'm not like the purest vessel right now to be making Christian videos and stuff. But the point is what I'm saying is that Oh, wait a second. Okay. Sorry, I had to do something real quickly. Chores. I love you guys. Okay. But yeah. So, um, basically, we need a like-mindedness in Christ and that only really comes by surrendering our lives to him, living a life that is surrendered to him. Surrender seems so easy when we sing about it. It's like, I ah, surrender, hallelujah. But from my experience, it's hard. There's this picture on Instagram of a drawing of Jesus holding something behind his back, like this huge gift behind his back. And he's looking to a little girl. And he's looking to a little girl who has this big, she's holding on to this huge teddy bear. But Jesus says, no, no, no. Like, give me the teddy bear and I'll give you something better. And she's like, no, like, no, no, no. I'm not letting go of this teddy bear. Like, I love this teddy bear, okay? And so, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, that is something we need to let go of. We need to let go of our Our, 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 our fleshly values, okay? So that we can surrender to Jesus. And so that's a beauty. That's a beautiful thing. Um, yeah, so that's the word that God wanted me to share with you guys that it's going to take all of, our, all of us together having faith to make God's kingdom, to build God's kingdom. And basically to, to do his will on earth as it is in heaven together. And so that means that one, we don't have to be jealous of each other. I have hope. I have hope that jealousy will not be in our way as Christians. Jealousy and envy will not get in our way. Envy and jealousy. And if it does, well, you know who got your back. Okay. I do. No, but seriously, um, yeah, jealousy and envy is another thing in this season that I'm being very tempted by and, you know, like, man, why can't I, I sing and do things like those Christians do? But it's something that God doesn't really want us to think about because remember, we have a higher purpose to be focusing on. There is a higher purpose to keep our attention on and it is making God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so that's just some of the thoughts that I was thinking of when I was watching the Levi Stance music videos. I was like, oh my goodness, like, wow. Jesus, you're taking me deep. Like, Jesus, you're taking me deeper. I'm scared, but this is so cool. And so that's why I'm so blessed that those Asian brothers and sisters, those Asian, I say it like that, but that Asian community, 
across the country, just like I am a, like in a Hispanic community. <laughs> it's just, it's just a blessing. Asian American, but yeah, so God is good, okay? And I just hope that God continues to bless you as you, you race past, race past the envy, race past the trauma, race past the, the shame, the shame, race past that, race past it and um, go to the prize, which is like the love of Christ. And that's where you'll find, I think, the fullest of faith that you can find. You don't even have to do much to get it. You can find that faith that you're looking for to move mountains as you race past the drama, you race past the, the shame, you race past the, the bad stuff, and you go to the prize. Jesus. Okay. And I think it's really cool how I'm making this video. And there's something I'm looking at to keep me focused. The cross. <coughs> so, building faith. Building faith. And lastly, I want to share with you guys something very interesting that I saw today. Praise God. Thank you, God, for my eyesight. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God, that I have eyes to see. Thank you, God, that I have ears to hear. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for my eyesight. Thank you, Jesus. Um, as I was walking in this rough day it's been, I... I saw um, a building. Okay, I saw, okay. In my neighborhood, by my grocery store, the grocery store I go to, there is a building. There's two buildings. There's one building. It's being built. Like, it's a, it's going to be like a community center. It's a building that's being built. And then there's also a building that is being destroyed. So there's an old Sears shopping center and it's being destroyed. Like it's being destroyed, okay? Um, I thought that was so interesting because I'm talking about building faith. I'm talking about having faith, having faith that can like move mountains and things like that. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Sorry, I'm like... I'm like, I'm just thinking because, uh, okay, so yeah, but yeah, I thought that was really cool, like having faith, like that much faith to not only build something with my brothers and sisters in Christ, but also have a lot of faith to like destroy something that I don't want in my life anymore. And that, the thing that I want to destroy is coming from one place. You see where I'm pointing to? I have a shirt on. But I'm pointing to my heart because the heart is deceitful above all things. Who can possibly know it? And that's a verse from Jeremiah, I think, somewhere. But yeah, okay. Um, trying to make this like into a sermon, but I'm not trying to abuse God's grace. Hey, you know, I'm just telling you guys, like, build faith, okay? I'm sorry it's been a hard time, as you can tell. Hard time. But God's going to make a way for us. I know God is making a way for you. I have a feeling God is making a way for you. And I want to believe that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, according to Philippians 4.13. And my faith will pursue past my enemies. I'll, I'll, I won't even have to worry about triumphing over my enemies because I'll, have the, I'll be falling in love with the one who died for me. That's what it means to pursue past in faith. But don't pursue past your faith. Like, don't prohibit your life. Don't prohibit your walk from opportunities of faith. Don't refuse faith, okay? Well, yeah. This message got really confusing real quickly, as you could tell. And I just want to let you guys know that um, it's going to be okay. Just... 
Thank you, Jesus. That's all you got to say sometimes. I pray that Jesus helps us not to get angry at each other. And I pray Jesus helps us not to get angry at what's happening around us. But let's just all find an anchor inside of Jesus. And let's trust in that anchor in him. And let's go deeper with Jesus, wherever he wants us to go, wherever he calls us to go. Let's go deeper. Let's not be afraid. Let's not shake and tremble at what the world's doing. Let's shake and tremble at his awesome glory. So yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this short video. And sorry, my head looks crazy. Um, you guys make me smile so much. So I just want to say that. And I love you guys. Have a blessed day.